everyone. I'm Nick Halverson, the founder of OccuSpace, and I want to get started today by telling you about how I got here. I was born and raised in a town of 3,000 people in Florida and moved to San Diego to go to UCSD. The big city life was quite a shock for me, and my biggest frustration was just how many people were everywhere. It didn't seem to matter where I went, there was always no parking and a line out the door. This personal annoyance drove me to develop a way to see how busy a place is in real time. And then I launched the Waits app at UCSD so students could see how busy the libraries, gyms, and dining halls were in real time. And the students loved it. Then one day the vice chancellor came up to me and said, I saw your app and I can't believe you have this data. I got a little bit nervous thinking I might get expelled or something. But he went on to say, I can't believe you have this data and I don't. What I learned from the Vice Chancellor is that our method for collecting occupancy data, which is now a patent pending method, gives us the opportunity to be a heavyweight enterprise solution. $3.4 billion is in our market size. That's the current budget for current construction going on at UCSD alone. With so much money at stake, it's vital that universities make sure all those dollars are being spent on the right projects. So to do this, universities are heavily investing in enterprise solutions to make sure they're making better facility decisions. However, those solutions made by folks like IBM and Oracle do a good job of aggregating data to one platform, but they're still missing the key data point to drive meaningful insights, occupancy data. Other methods to get occupancy data include manual surveys and thermal cameras. Both of these have proven to be pretty ineffective. Our method uses plug and play hardware devices that are proven to be over 90% accurate in any space we deploy them to. Now, universities aren't the only ones that are interested in how their spaces are being used. Industries across the spectrum are investing in making more data-driven decisions on their current spaces and future construction needs. So we plan on using the university vertical as a stepping stone to the larger $2.1 billion market for these solutions. Within a few months of our launch last year, we had a paid pilot at UCSD to service 1.1 million square feet of their campus, and then raised a seed round from angel investors while putting together an amazing advisory board, a board that combines for over $4.8 billion in exits. Since then, we've been flooded with inbound interest from over 100 different universities asking about our services from our original student app to our other enterprise solutions. But we have to pick and choose who we can work with because we don't have the funds for that kind of expansion. That's why this spring we're looking to raise a Series A round so that we can grow our engineering and sales team and develop to more, or, and then launch to more universities as well as other verticals along the way. So with that, I'd love to answer any questions. Can you tell us a little bit more about the sensor itself, the technical solution, and how much does a typical deployment cost? Yeah, definitely. So what makes our sensors so unique is that we're actually using uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so our devices are very low cost, and the patented technology that we're using is they're sending out signals as well as receiving, and every time a signal hits a body, it's about 60% water, and there's a little bit of signal disturbance or noise, and so we actually analyze that noise to get our occupancy data, and so typically we'll install about 250 of our devices per one million square feet of space, and so the gross margins on that are about 90% for hardware and install cost for what a university pays us, which the average university contract is about 200 to 300,000. How, how granular is the data uh, in terms of occupancy? I mean, is it kind of binary, that person's in the room, that person's not in the room? Does it, does it track anything else? So that's actually one thing that we use as a competitive advantage is a lot of things that are stopping occupancy companies like the thermal cameras from going into office spaces or universities is they have big privacy concerns. And so we're really only tracking if someone's in the room or if, they're, if they aren't. And it doesn't get to who you are or anything, so we don't have those kind of privacy concerns.